Hey there guys, and welcome to a new series. This is Pixelmon, which, as you would guess, it is a Minecraft version of Pokemon. So yeah, um, when you create a new world, you get this little title thingy, which can which allows you to choose your starter Pokemon, which will be a level 5, no matter which one you choose. Um, you can choose between Bulbasaur, the leaf type, Squirtle, the water type, Charmander, the fire type, and Eevee, the normal type, who can evolve into any type you want, because it's OP as all hell. Now, I'm going to choose Squirtle because he's water type, he's a turtle, and his evolution is literally a tank. I'm going to choose him. Now, I spawned quite a area here. Um, these things here are Apricorns. You, these, you use these to um, make Pokeballs. I'm going to grab some wood quickly. Um, you need Pokeballs to get a Pokemon, and yeah. It's really well done, this mod. It, it's included so much, and it's just amazing. Um, they've, got, they've got Apricorns to make the Pokeballs. They've got PCs and healing machines to, you know, heal your Pokemon up if they faint during battle. Um, they've got, uh, what's it called? Um, what was it called? Fossil machines, so you can, you know, if you find a fossil underground, you can then recreate, you can bring it back to life. And it will be all cool and be like, yeah, thank you, I'll fight for you. So cool. Um, I'm going to show you some saplings will fall because I forgot where the saplings fall. I don't know, any trees, just the tops of the trees just there. Okay, that's good enough. So yeah, um, in Pixelmon, there's not really any goal. There's just, um, you know, catch Pokemon and, you know, live. Um, in Pixelmon, it, there, there are no other mobs, so there's no mobs that'll do damage to you. Unless it's a spawner that will spawn like zombies or, you know, spiders or, s or skeletons. Well, there, there's spiders, spawners, zombie spawners, skeleton spawners, and cave spider, sp spider spawners. So, no chance of a bloody creeper exploding. Now, I'm not sure what happens when a Pokemon uses self destruct, so that's going to be kind of worrying. So, if an electrode or something gets in my face, I am probably going to run. <gasps> Beedroll! Oh my god, it's a bee! Beedroll! I'm giving you one chance. Please. Beedroll! Beedroll! Beedroll, you son of a gun! Why am I in third person? This is my turn. My squirrel fainted. What? You're, you're still alive? What? What? No, going on. This is an emotional roller coaster of death. Oh, wheel. I would have battled you, but you know something attacked me for no reason. God, I hate beetles. No, they're actually pretty cool. Uh, beetles are one of my favorite Pokemon. It's easily in my top team. My top team would consist of, um, this is, in, this is in the latest, like, series and everything. Um, what would it be? There would be Beedrill, of course, Agron, like the giant frickin' beast, um, Nidoking, Tyranitar, Charizard, and Blastoise. Wait, is that six or seven? I can't remember. I think it's six. I think mean, I'm going insane. So yeah, the things I'm collecting right now are leaf shard stones, which allow me to create leaf stones, which can be used to, um, <laughs> nah, which can be used to evolve certain Pokemon, which I do very much enjoy having in a party. Um, like Victory Bell. Victory Bell's a pretty beast. Now, I have got all, no, I need a yellow one actually. Um, I was about to say, I, I have all the Pokeball, the Apricorns I need to make a good Pokeball. <gasps> Wait, is that a... No, it's an actual Pokemon. Wow. There we go, here's one. Um, there are sometimes Pokeballs scattered across the world that um, can give you TMs, which can teach Pokemon new moves, but that's an actual Pokemon called Voltorb, who annoys me like hell, because I see him every time, and I freak out, because I think I've actually found something. 
Uh, let's do some grinding on some very weak Magikarp. Where's some weak Magikarp? Please don't hurt me. I am your friend. Ooh, I think. Yes, level 5. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you use that splash. Magikarp don't know any offensive moves until like level 15 or something. So they're kind of good to grind on. Oh yeah, level 6. Now, let's run before one of them gets very offensive and beats me up. That'd be kind of embarrassing getting beaten by a Magikarp. Um, the way to create a healing machine is... Um, it does require a diamond, so I'm going to go mining in a bit to um, find said diamond. I'm going to grab these seeds so I can get some food, because as you can see, I actually am dropping hunger points. Hu sprinting probably doesn't help, but who gives a damn? Um, I'm going to try... No, I'm not going to try one hit kill him, that'd be bad. I'm not, I'm not going to go against any Pokemon until I know I'm not going to die instantly. Because more than likely I will, because I'm on very low health from that bloody Beedrill attack, which I really didn't want. I'm gonna go in the trees for a bit. Caterpie, I'll save you! I know I just said I wasn't going to, but... Screw you guys. Nope, no, no. It's like a Pokemon Ranger. Yeah, that's some Pokemon Rangers make. So yeah, um, I have all the, po the Apricorns that I want to make my Pokeballs. Um, the black and yellow ones, black and yellow ones, but sorry, um, they are used to create Ultra Balls, um, which are the strongest type sides Master Balls. I care about. Um, Marik's dying there. Um, then the blue and red ones make uh, great balls, which are the um, they're they're stronger than Pokeballs, which you which you use to with, with um three red Apricorns. Yeah, I know I know that much. I don't really care much about anything else. Um, should I my right face? Yeah, I don't see why not. So yeah, um, just make it here, I guess. No, that's not a good place. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna make a okay space. I don't want to make something completely horrible and ugly to the, to the eyes because you know I want to make something nice. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Terraforming. Don't what don't mind me, just terraforming a bit. And I'm not affecting your environment in any way, Pokemon, don't worry. Just some just some environmental decorate decor. You're all fine, you're all safe for now. Cool. Nice little circular home to complement the circular Pokeballs which are in this game. Trees. Jump. Okay. So yeah, you gotta do the basic Minecraft thing in all in the beginning of all mods. You gotta do the basic Minecraft. You can't you can't instantly jump into the fun bit. Well, I guess you can in this mod because you can you know go and Pokemon battles, but you can't catch Pokemon. You can't heal them, so you have a limited amount of time before you have to get back into Minecraft. So yeah. I really, in I do enjoy this mod very much, it's really well done, the Pokemon themselves look amazing considering what, that they're pixels, I mean, you know, it's, it's just surprising. Um, what's also cool about this mod is that when you beat Pokemon, sometimes it'll drop something, so if you were to kill a Magnemite, um, it would drop free iron, 
um, if you killed a uh, Wormpool or Caterpie, is a chance of it dropping String, because they're bugs. Um, it's, it's just cool, because it's like, it's like when you actually kill cows and things like that in normal Minecraft, they actually drop what they have. It's quite cool. Oh, that's all mine here as well. Nice. So yeah, in this mod they they have a new ore called bauxite, which when you smelt gives you I think it's aluminium. So with that or titanium, but I think it's aluminium. I'm pretty sure. Um, that's used to create all the new machines, so you can keep your Minecraft, you know, real Minecraft to one side and your, you know, everything new to another side. Pretty much, it's quite cool. Um, oh my Pokeball right there. To create Pokeballs, you need you need um. Iron to create the bottom of it, and a button to make the little button in the middle. Which is, it, it, it's like, it's really like what would happen if you actually existed. It's really cool. It's re it's just really cool. Another thing to mention about this, guys. If you think this would be more fun than someone else, tell me. I can. I'll try and find a way of adding people to the server. If it's LAN or if it actually is a there's an actual server download thing I can download. Because um, I know loads of people who want to play this, or at the very least want to play a game with me anyway. No, 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 no. Get the station house off. What's the three? No, it's 16 each. Yeah. Sorry. Moan to myself. Now, it's quite good. This is, uh, this is an odd number because I can make um, my wooden hammer, which is what's used to curve the ball tops and bottoms to create um, what's it called? the actual Pokeball itself, which is quite cool. Um, I'm gonna be making other layers to this house. Don't worry. There's gonna be um, one second. Adverse. There's gonna be like a, se a second story and all that stuff. Just at the moment, I'm not, I don't need one. So it'll be like the bottom floor is gonna be like my um, storage area where I can just run in and grab things and then run back out. And the second floor is gonna be like, oh look at this. Oh look at this. I can make up. Um, I can look at my PC. I don't need that. Um, actually, a PC on the ground floor wouldn't that be best, wouldn't it? Why am I saying wouldn't it? You guys can't. You guys are gonna reply on the video, are you? You can comment, but you can't do anything else. So yeah, um, I got a house plan set out and all that stuff. I'm I'm gonna hope to make a um like a pokeball floor. That'd be really cool. Unfortunately, there's no way of collecting um wool by sheep, so you can't shear them and that sort of thing. Um, so I can't. I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. But I'm I'm gonna hope I can make like a pokeball floor floor because they look really freaking epic. Why am I still on here? I don't need to be. Click on do this. Okay, just clear this out now. 